Hey, what is up, ninja? Ninja. Welcome back, guys, to the welcome back, guys, to my channel. My my name is Ninja. Welcome back, guys, to a brand new video here on the channel today. Today, guys, before we start up with this video, whatever. So yeah, today, guys, we're gonna be talking about something that pop up this month that I never talk about, and it is a franchise that I was a little kid, I watched this franchise when I was a kid, but I never, but I have, and I still continue on with this franchise till today, I recently tried, and I would, so yeah, I'm gonna talk about the, I'm gonna talk about this franchise in just a, I'm gonna talk about this, talk, yeah, I can't talk, because, yeah, guys, it's the day after fix giving up. And of course, it's Black Friday, so people might be going shopping to buy Christmas gifts for everybody. So, because Christmas is only 29 days away. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. But yeah. Today, guys, we are going to talk about Alvin and the Chipmunks. Now, if you don't know, guys, there is something about this franchise that a few people, like myself, like, the, the video about this franchise is, of course, and yeah, but before we start up with this franchise, before we talk about this franchise, I want you guys to go down below and hit that like button down below if you are going to be enjoying this video. This video means a lot to me, so please guys, hit that like button down below if you do enjoy it. So yeah. Also guys, hit that subscribe button down below. We are trying to get this channel up to... We are trying to get this channel to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So please guys, make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button down below. Also guys, comment down below in this video guys. Tell me, so comment down below, down below guys. Tell me some other videos, ideas. Tell me some more video ideas do you guys want to see me do on to the channel when I get to it. When I get to it. So guys, Please, guys, make sure you guys like, I don't know, like, show some thoughts. Show your thoughts. Thoughts. What do you want to see me do on the, the channel in the future? I would love it if you guys could just comment down below. So, yeah. Also, guys, in the end of this video, comment down below, guys. Why are you guys are down below in the comments? When uh, this video is out, you know, stuff. And when this video has been out for quite a few, like, hours uh, or something like that, when this video, the, when the end of this video happens, when the end of this video gonna happen, then you guys, guys, when this video is happening, uh, now, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, after this video is done, comment down below, tell me guys, what, like, comment down below what, just comment down below your thoughts about what we're going to be talking about today. So, yeah. And please, guys, subscribe if you're new here. So, yeah. So, let's talk about what's going on in the world of the world of Alvin and the Chipmunks. So, if you get... So, guys, if you didn't notice, guys, on November... On November 2nd of this year, it has been said that the Alvin... Guys... The article from CNBC would be down below in the description. It says that Alvin in the Chipmunks Ono is looking to sell for about three hundred million dollars. So success. So let's talk about this for just one moment, okay? The franchise ended up right. This is when things get very, very strange. Because if you don't know, guys, the company, Badagas Productions, the uh, the company who owns the franchise, says that there is going to be two more seasons. A few, like, it says for the Alvin and the Chipmunk show that there is going to be a few more series, seasons of the CGI show. That's right now on the screen right now. The CGI show. This said, there said it's going to be like around five 
seven seasons. Because it says back in 2019 that there was going to be a season six and seven. And this series, the CGI series, is going to be going on for like four years. So, yeah. Going on for four years is like... Like, whatever. Like, going on for like four years is like... Like, this is very really strange because, guys, I like the CGI show. I like the CGI show. It's really like, it's like, it's like the chipmunks are humans. And, yeah, like tiny humans, so yeah. But today, guys, also what it says in the article, it's that Alvin and the Chipmunks owner, Banagas Productions, has held, held talks with, put, uh, Potential, the potential buyers, including one company who is set to be coming to buy. I'll be right back, guys. So sorry about that, guys. I need to go do something. So, see ya. so what I was saying before, I'm going to talk about the companies who are going to be owning the Armored and Chipmunks franchise that I think it's just a minute, but so says familiar with the model tail, model tail. In CNBC, I just yeah, the franchise includes 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 songs, movies, and TV shows, starring animation animated scene chipmunks, Al Alvin Simon and Theodore. The company, which is owned by Ross Barnegas Jr. and his wife Janet. Chen, Chen, uh, Chen is is working with a finishing advice, advice, advisor, but haven't come to term with a with a buyer yet. So, Bodyguard Productions has not yet found a buyer yet. They don't, they don't have like. They don't have like a bio yet to buy the franchise yet, but yeah, this came out like 24 days ago. So yeah, so let me talk about the horror tower article, and then I'm going to uh, I'm going to talk about the horror tower like like article, and then I'm going to talk about who could buy the Alvin and Chipmunks rights. Here we go. Balagas Productions, owner of Alvin and Chipmunks franchise, is seeking a buyer according to people with knowledge of the matter. As it looks to cash in on the premium price. That media companies a private equator advisors has been willing to pay for integrated property I property some of these words I'm trying to pronounce, but guys, I'm not really good at saying words, okay? I'm not really good. So, yeah. The company owner and up, up with, uh, up with the, well, whatever, the, the person who owns it is by Ross Badagot, whatever they wrote this. So, what they are trying to say is, uh, just try like what they're trying to say is try to find a buyer who can buy the rights. So yeah, Barnegas Productions is working with uh, an advisor and has been looking for a price of about three hundred million dollars to all the people says. So I'm gonna talk about all the streaming and all this stuff in just. And also, so yeah, if you want to read the whole entire article, I will put this C C N B C uh, link in the description down below. But of course, if you want to read the whole entire bill, you guys can go down below in the description uh, and find this to yourself. Because you guys need to know a little bit about what's going on with this franchise. And of course, what's going on with Alvin in the chipmunks. So yeah, you know me guys. I'm a big fan of the Alvin and the Chipmunks franchise, and I know a lot of people who really likes this franchise. I know a lot of people love it. The 80s shows always pop up when I was a kid. I was a kid like around in the early 2000s, like the, kind of the early 2000s, like 2000 to 2009. When I was a little kid, uh, 
when I was born in the 2000s, this, like the 80s, like this, okay? Like this, okay? The 80s show that will, the 80s show that came out in, of course, the 80s, I believe it was 1983 all the way to 1990, I don't remember. But uh, if you don't know, there was, of course, a. There's of course eight seasons. I haven't watched the whole Tower series, but there was a few seasons that a few episodes I saw. I think I saw like around ten episodes on TV. I feel like I watched like around ten episodes on TV when I was a little kid. I feel like it, but I don't know yet. But what I have heard is of course me, some of, some of my friends, we love we love our little books. Avril the Chipmunks has been like my childhood, uh, like, whatever. I've been watching Avril the Chipmunks so much when I was a kid that it was kind of like my childhood. I watched the live action movies when I was like around, when the first one came out was when I was three years old. Uh, I don't know, three, four years old, I don't remember, but back in 2008, I watched the first live action movie and I I liked it, I, I did enjoy it, but yeah. I just can't believe it how like, guys, I know that we said that the live action of the Chipmunks is the worst live action franchise ever, but look at like, what they did with the CGI show. Like this show right here. Look at what they did with the CGI show. Well, of course this is the 80s show, that's the show that I watched when I was a kid. But yeah, but the CGI show, like here, I feel like this show, I feel like the CGI show is great, a, a great series. I feel like the series is like, by far, now some of these episodes I haven't seen yet. I'm still in season two right now of the series, but yeah, but yeah, I seen all the live action movies. And yeah, I really like this film, I really like this franchise because the idea of bringing chipmunks to life, like three seated chipmunks, our villa, Simon, and Theodore, I like these characters. These characters are by far the best part of my childhood. childhood. In fact, I love our the chipmunks. It's by far one of those uh, movies that in franchises, so yeah. But again, guys, if you want to read the whole town article down below, so, yeah. Also, let's talk a little bit more, okay? We're not going to talk about streaming services or whatever in, like, a minute. Excuse me. So, yeah, it says right here, also here it says, Alvin the Chipmunks was created by Vanagas Jr., father was Vanagas Senior in 1958 as a children music out the Alvin show that got released in 1958 so that's the that was the very first one began in 1961 featuring the three animation animated Sido chipmunks Alvin Simon and Theodore with spread up voices to give them their chipmunks high pitch sound. Several adventures of TV shows and film followers, including an Alvin and the Chipmunks movie in 2007 in three sequels. Barney Gus Jr. and his wife, Carmen, runs the franchise for their home in Santa Barbara, California, and their engagement virtual firms to sell the company about four years ago, according to pe person familiar with the matter, but utterly scratch their discuss discussion. And then this next part is of course CNBC called the phone number of Barnegas Productions Facebook page to see comment. The person who took the call said there was no one here that can speak to you about that. And then hell up. So, this is when things get a little bit interesting because there's a lot of people who go by Alvin the Chipmunks. In fact, there's a lot of people that I do know of 
couple of these ideas that I do know of that could buy this franchise. Now again, they can't have the live action franchise because Disney by far across all those. But in a mission, Disney has not have those. But what I'm saying is, Balagas Productions, the company who owns the Alvin the Chipmunks franchise, was like, like, it's just, yeah. I love the four live action movies, I love the shows, I love the specials, I love the animation movies, but yeah. But now guys, let's talk about who could buy the franchise. Like, who could buy this chipmunk franchise, whatever you could call it, the Alvin the Chipmunks, um, Alvin in the Chipmunks franchise. Let's talk about it, shall we? The first one that we have is, of course, says in the article, it says in the source that it is Fakuma. The first one is Fakuma CBS. Now, this is what it does. Like, this is what, like, it says right here that Fakuma CBS is Paranoia Plus. Now, I feel like CBS is a good idea to buy the company. Because they have the rights of the CGI show. They have the rights of the CGI show and they are making it. It's still going. Up. It's probably going to go until 2025, India. But I feel like Falcom uh, CBS is a good company. I feel like it because I love. Because CBS usually do stuff like it premieres things like the Peanuts. The Peanuts, Blue's Clues. Uh, Dollar the Explorer, and so much more. Like, CBS premiered in different companies. And I feel like back um, CBS, that's officially said that, yeah. It also says right here, but it says, but if you don't know, guys, CBS did it. If you don't know here, what I said before, the company owned an operate by Ross Battlegrass Studio and his wife. Janet Kerbel has held talks with several potential buyers, including Falcom CBS, but haven't come to an agreement on terms, said the people who asked that to be named because private, because the, they are private. Okay. So like this. I feel like CBS is a good idea because CBS owns a ton of stuff. They also still own, I think they still own the peanuts, right? Yeah, I feel like, uh, like, also if you don't know guys, the peanuts is, was my childhood home. Some shows on CBS from Paranoia, Paranoia, whatever how you pronounce it. Their shows has been my childhood. Well, the jungle has been also my childhood when I was six years old in Arnold and now I'm 17 and yeah. But of course, CBS is a good company idea. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like uh, this is a great franchise idea because they have the rights of the CGI show. The CGI show and also with CBS, they can originally upload uh, some previous projects like the Alvin the Chipmunks adventure movie, the adventure movie, uh, a, a Chipmunks adventure, uh, this show, uh, this, like whatever. And they don't, they're not gonna have the rights of the live action movies, of course. And yeah, but of course they're gonna have the rights of the animation movies, the animation shows, the animation uh, specials that came out in the, the past, but yeah. But again, I feel like the idea of uh, the the idea of CBS owning the Avenue Chipmunks rights, I feel like it's a good idea because you know me, I like the idea of what CBS is doing, and yeah, I feel like CBS could do a good job. You know, because I feel like CBS could do a good job, and I feel like. The idea what they could do is do a good job in my personal opinion. But yeah. But of course I had to pause the I had to pause the video that I have right now going. But yeah, but of course 
like this, okay? This supper that I have with this franchise, yeah. Now, there's a lot more, there's a lot more that people doesn't really know about, but yeah, this is the first company that I feel like will buy the Avenue Chipmax franchise, so yeah. Now, like, CBS is a good company idea, but let's talk about a second company who could, in fact, buy the Avenue Chipmax rights. The next one that I have is when things get really interesting because this company did, like, this next up, like, this next company only did have the Avenue Chipmax rights, rights, and that is Universal. Now, I feel like Universal could, in fact, buy the franchise because they already made two films together. Yeah, they already made two films together. If you didn't notice that time, guys. But yeah, Universal did have the Avenue Checkbox rights for like a few years. But yeah, they already have, but yeah, but with Bonacus, but with Bonacus Productions. What was I say? Oh, I do feel like that uh, Universal could in fact buy Avenue Checkbox because, now this is just a rumor. This is not, Universal is not on the article, but but yeah, 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 I feel like Universal should buy it because if you don't know, Universal actually do have two, like two animation companies. Also, they do also have a streaming service that is of course Peacock TV and the two companies uh, that uh, Universal has that's like the two best companies, and that is DreamWorks Animation and Illumination Entertainment. These two right here are good animation studios, could in fact buy the Avenue Chipmax franchise. This is what I feel like, what I feel like Bonacus Productions might do, but the problem about this is of course, there's only one big problem with this article this article these this news and that is the like now of course back in like the back in the early like in the early two thousands Bonacus Production did find that Universal did a terrible idea and then Universal did you and the characters but look at what Paranormal Plus is doing uh, look at what CBS is doing that with Alvin and the Chipmunks, the CGI show. They're doing a pretty great job with the CGI show. Like, in fact, they're doing a great job. So yeah, now this one right here is on the screen right now. It's from Universal, if you don't know that. But yeah, but of course, like, think about it, okay? I feel like if Universal will buy Alvin and the Chipmunks, they need to pick up something to do with the franchise. I feel like if Disney, I mean, if Universal buys this franchise, yes, I would love it if Universal buys this franchise because they do have the two movies, they do have two movies, uh, and of course, they have a streaming service, Peacock TV, that has all of Universal, and a lot of people say that, of course, the tree works in the, in the Illumination films will, in fact, be in them. And having a, having a Paranormal Plus show, having a Paranormal Plus, plus, plus show and uh, there would be amazing. And yeah, you know me, I'm a big fan of Alvin and Chipmunks. I don't really, I don't really told you guys that I've been a big fan of Alvin and Chipmunks since I was a little kid. And yeah, when the 80s shows and the specials always came up on my TV and uh, my my service my service I have to do it, but in fact I really really hope, I really like the idea of having the checkbooks. I love this franchise by far. This franchise for me is a great franchise. I I do have a few problems with this franchise, but in fact I love the idea of this franchise because. Talking chipmunks, like 
seeded, like seeded chipmunks is a good idea. Also, the chip pets is also a part of this as well. So yeah, Universal is a company, but also Universal did ruin the of the chipmunks, just like 20th Century Fox did with the live action movies. But yeah, but of course, a lot of well, yeah, but. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, I feel like Universal is better than bigger companies like Disney or something like that. Everybody agrees with me, okay? Universal is, of course, one of those franchises that a few people like, but a few people don't like at the same time. Now, I love Armored Chipmunks, especially the ones that Universal made. Those are the ones I know the most. I have, I didn't know, I did not notice that there would be a CGI series. I didn't know there was a C the series. I didn't know the series ever existed. I didn't know that. But now I do, and yeah. Fiodo so have green eyes. Like, Fiodo, if you had to see the original show, you do know, you do know that Fiodo actually had green, green eyes. And yeah. In fact... If you don't know Alvin and Simon in this show, their eyes are like the same thing. Look at, like, look, like, Alvin's eyes should not be brown. It was supposed to be blue, right? I don't really know the way of life, but yeah, but of course, the I, but yeah, I love the idea of Universal buying Alvin and Chipmunks. I would like that. So yeah, because Universal can make a few things, so yeah. Now, in the first one out of the way, let's talk about the next company idea who co own of the Chipmunks. The next franchise, uh, the next company idea I have, and actually it's been uh, said in this article. It says right here, the, the third company idea is Water Media's HBO Max. Water Media, aka HBO Max. AKA, AKA, what up, brothers? Now, I feel like what the media owned Alvin, Alvin in the Chipmunks is like a great idea because Universal made Alvin the Chipmunks. Well, Disney has that yet. Paranormal or CPS already made one, but why not? Uh, but why not what the brothers? I feel like what the brothers could in fact make one. Also, they have HBO Max, and HBO Max is, in fact, one of the biggest, like, I would say probably the biggest streaming service ever made. Like, the, like, one of the biggest streaming service. Bigger than, like, Disney Plus or something like that. HBO Max is one of brothers cut up, in other words, so yeah. For me... I would love to see a, I would love to see another, like, like, whatever. HBO Max could, in fact, be perfect to stream out of the chipmunks. Like the original shows, the, the two classic shows, and the classic specials that came out in between years, and like the 70s, through the 90s, or 70s, 80s. 90s, whatever. I feel like, uh, I feel like if HBO Max would own of it in the Chipmunks, then HBO, Ma HBO Max needs to do a great job. I feel like they could do a, I feel like they could do a, like a HBO Max series, but I don't know what's gonna happen. I feel, I feel like, but it also has been confirmed by sources that Warner Brothers might go on sale in the next few years. And of course, a lot of people say that Disney's gonna buy Warner Brothers. I don't know about that one. Because if Disney has the rights of Warner Brothers, it means that Disney has the rights of DC, and that's gonna be a, and that would be a monopoly. So, a monopoly. So what I was trying to say, I'm trying to say that I do not want Warner Brothers to be sold. I just don't really want that to happen. I do know Warner Media, I do know Warner Media does own, uh, uh, I just don't know, but yeah, but 
like this. Like this, okay? So, I like the idea of HBO Max purchasing out of the Chipmunks in Warner Brothers, but yeah. Yeah, Warner Brothers, like, I feel like, like, Warner Brothers is, of course, a great idea to purchase it, but who would put, like, whatever. Why would H why would Warner Brothers want to purchase out of the Chipmunks? It could. I feel like it could happen. I bet say it's not going to happen, but I feel like this is a great idea, and yeah. This is not a rumor. Universal is just a rumor. But yeah. But for now, guys, we don't have any official announcements to say that Warner Brothers might purchase it. But that's one of the sources. That's one of the streamer services that I feel like they could like make a deal with. And yeah. Now with uh, Warner Brothers. Now I feel like Warner Brothers could do a good movie. So yeah. Now with you know, now with Warner Brothers are in the way. Let's talk about our next company. Our next company idea is another company. Our fourth company idea is Sony. Now, Sony owned the Arm and the Chipmunks franchise. Now, Sony has been a rumor, and I do not want Sony to own the Arm and the Chipmunks. The Alvin in the Chipmunks rights. I do not really want the uh, Sony to make a terrible Alvin in the Chipmunks. You know me, Sony make Sony could do some terrible Alvin the Chipmunks. You know me, Sony could do terrible things like Sony, in fact, could make some terrible things related to the Alvin the Chipmunks franchise. Some terrible ideas. Now, of course, Sony Picture Animations is a good is a good idea. But the big problem why Bodyguard Productions is not going to let Sony own it is because Sony doesn't have a streaming service. And of course, Sony, I'm going to say it, no, probably not for Sony. Probably not. And yeah, if Sony wants to, Sony could own it. But in fact... There's no possible ways that Sony will purchase Avenue the Chipmunks. There's no way. Now, I feel like Sony... Okay, what I said before, Sony by Alvin in the Chipmunks is not an idea. Like, now again, Sony does pretty good movies, but I feel like Sony is going to destroy Avenue the Chipmunks. I do not want you want that to that. Whatever, so yeah. Whatever, so yeah. Again, Sony, if Sony buys Avenue the Chipmunks, I'd be okay with that, but Sony doesn't have a streaming service. And do you know what that means? It means if Sony doesn't have a streaming service, then Sony has that deal with so Disney and that, it, like, the, the people were big, not a chance. There is not a chance, chance that Sony is, in fact, going to purchase of the Chipmunks. Now, again, there was an idea that I feel like Sony could do, but Sony purchasing Alvin in the Chipmunks, not a good idea. So, yeah. So, that's the, so that's our fourth company idea. Let's talk about our fifth company. So, yeah. Our next company idea is Congress is here in the article, and that is Netflix. Now, Nef like the fifth episode, like the fifth one idea is Netflix. Now, I feel that Netflix could own Alvin and the Chipmunks. I feel like it because Netflix is a huge success. Like, it's streaming service, the Alvin and the Chipmunks, Street, like the streaming service of Netflix is huge, like much more popular as like Netflix is much more popular than like Disney Plus and HBO Max. But Netflix could, in fact, buy it. I would like to see Netflix buying this franchise. 
the Netflix can make a Alvin the Chipmunks Netflix original series or Netflix original film. I would love to see the Netflix make an Alvin the Chipmunks. I would like that. But for now, we don't have any official announcements that say that, of course, Disney, I mean, Netflix could buy it. But Netflix is just one of the companies that Butterglass Productions is owned by. So, I would say Netflix is an amazing idea of streaming the animation of the Chipmunks. Everything related to animation from Alvin and Chipmunks. Like this show that's on the screen right now. I would like that so much, and yeah. But yeah, Netflix owned the franchise, also doing that. I would like that so much because I like, I like Netflix. Netflix is in fact one of my favorite companies of our time. I love this company, like I love the company the company does great movies, TV shows, or whatever. I love Alvin and Chipmunks. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that Alvin and the Chipmunks, if Netflix buys it, I would love that. People would love that. People would love it if Netflix buys Alvin and the Chipmunks. I would love that so much. People would love that so much. So yeah. Do I feel like Netflix could buy them? Yes. Netflix could buy the three chipmunks and of course, and yeah. Guys, also guys, if you're still watching this video right now, comment down below guys. Tell me guys, what company do you want Bonagas Productions, the company who owns Alvin and Chipmunks, what company do you feel like should buy Alvin and Chipmunks? Leave them down below in the comment section below. We are getting so close done with this video, but yeah, Netflix owning Alvin in the Chipmunks could in fact save people's lives. But yeah, but of course, this is just a, uh, this is confirmed. It's been confirmed that Netflix is one of the companies who could actually buy them. But yeah, but if Netflix, but at this, if Netflix buy them, I would like that. So yeah. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about our next company idea who could uh, own the uh, who co-own well, the next one who co-own the Avenue Chipmunks rights. Our sixth company idea that I feel like that they could buy like who could buy the Avenue Chipmunks rights is of course Hasbro. Now Hasbro is a company who is a pretty solid company. If you don't know, if you don't know what Hasbro is, it's actually this company who actually makes TV shows, who actually makes TV shows, and also they actually make toys. Hasbro makes toys, and yeah, if you don't know, the company who owns Hasbro's are Transformers. Yeah, Transformers, the animation, uh, animation Transformers. Uh, Mind of the Party and Power Rangers and put it out of the chipmunks right between them. I feel like I feel like that could be a great idea, but that's just if people is thinking like that. But now we don't know who could buy this franchise, but Hasbro's is in fact what a company idea that I feel like. That short by Alvin and Chipmunks. Now, it's not bad, right? I feel like I feel like Hasbro's is one of the company ideas who could own Alvin and Chipmunks because Hasbro's actually does a great job of giving us Alvin and Ch like Hasbro's give us some great series ideas. So yeah, but Hasbro's buying Alvin and the Chipmunks could in fact save the company, who can actually save them. And of course, Hasbro's makes toys. We can make that, they can give us some more, uh, they can give us more merch idea, some more Alvin and Chipmunks merch, more like giving their shirts and hat, give them more plushes, or give them some action figures of these. In fact, 
They could do a lot of things related to, and also just Alvin in the Jetbox franchise, like the merchandise. They could make more Alvin the Jetbox merchandise for Hasbro's. But yeah, Hasbro's, I feel like it's a great company idea, but I don't feel like it's, it is possible. So yeah, but that's kind of like it for Hasbro's. Let's get right into our next company. It might be a like. Let's get right to our next company idea. Who could own our ninja bucks? Our next friendship, Our next one. Our I believe it's our seventh or eighth. I don't remember, but uh, yeah. Wait, let me pick here. One, two. This is our seventh company idea, and that is Apple. Now, Apple is in fact one of those companies, like Apple is a company who actually does have Charlie Brown on its service. And of course, you can watch every single Peanuts classic on Apple TV. That's very amazing. And also, the idea of Apple, because they have something like Apple TV. Now, Apple TV is not rumored. This is just a rumor. This is just a rumor going around saying that, of course, but there has been rumors going around saying that uh, Apple could own Apple the Chipmunks after uh, the 10 years deal with the CGI series. And yeah, Apple's a good idea because there's Apple TV also also, Apple, like, I feel like Apple TV is a good idea. It's better than, like, Universal or HBO Max or something like that. But, of course, like, I mean, you, I mean, you, I mean, I mean, what a medium. What a medium, not HBO Max, but yeah. But, Apple, like, Apple could put Apple the Chipmunks on Apple TV. Just like they did with the Peanuts. You can watch It's a Great Puck and Charlie Brown on there. You can watch a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. You can watch a Charlie Brown Christmas. You can watch a Charlie Brown Easter. Like, I think it's called It's the Easter Bunny Char Charlie Brown. I don't remember what it's called. But yeah, but yeah. But of course, this is better than like, but yeah. I know a lot of people really could, I know a few people could say that this could happen. I feel like they could do something. I feel like they could pick up something to do with this franchise. I feel like it because I feel like something could happen. And if Apple put all their specials and all of the animation series on Disney on Apple TV, then people can watch it for like seven days. I think it's like eight hours for a seven day shower or something like that for a free shower. And I was just saying, yeah, but again, I would like the idea. I would like the idea of Disney, of, I mean, Apple owning it. Apple's Pretty a good idea to own it, but this is just a rumor, and yeah, make this as the seventh company. I feel like this is a good company idea. I feel like this is a good idea for Alvin and the Chipmunks instead of other companies like this next one we are going to be talking about. But yeah, but of course, guys, leave it down below. Do you think Apple should buy Alvin and the Chipmunks to put it on Apple TV? I would love to see, I want to hear you guys' thoughts. And now, guys, let's head to, uh, well, not, we only have two more left. So let's get right into the next one. Now. Our next one, our, our eighth company idea who can own our mini Jetbooks is Amazon. Now, Amazon is this company. Now, Amazon could, in fact, buy it because, you know, Amazon is pretty good with movies and of course you can't watch the original show on Amazon that is I do not like that idea 
But I feel like, I feel like Amazon is not going to be a bad idea. I feel like Amazon is a good idea of buying out for the chipmunks. I feel like this is a good idea. Not, it's, I feel like it's not a bad idea, but I feel like this could be a good idea of Amazon buying it because Prime Video is by far a lot of people's favorites because people can like buy like uh, buy like movies and whatever. Like Amazon is a big company. Like it's big. Like Amazon almost cause has everything except food and guns and whatever. Well, candy is food, but yeah. But it has a lot of things. Like it has a lot of things. It has T-shirts, it got clothes, it got games, they have furniture, yeah, they have furniture, and so much more. Again, Amazon, buy your the chipmunks. In fact, I feel like this is a great idea, I feel like this is a great idea instead of, uh, like, whatever. I really like the Amazon idea. I feel like Amazon buying out of the chipmunks could be a good idea, idea. But this is just a rumor. This is not confirmed. This is just my own personal opinion. So yeah. Now with Amazon out of the way, let's talk about the last company idea. So, yeah. And now, guys, the final company, our eighth, no, our ninth company. Who call out Ivan in the chipmunks? Who actually do have Ivan the chipmunks? And this is the what the what Disney the, the the Disney company Disney. Now I had to keep Disney for last. People hate this idea. Disney also. Bob Igo, like the new president of uh, now again the new president of Disney, Bob Chipak, I can't pronounce his last name, who's the next, pr who's the next president of the company, he says that of course he wants to buy stuff, he wants to keep some money. If you don't know, Alvin and the Chipmunks, what I said before in the beginning of the video, Alvin and the Chipmunks. The company is three hundred million, like three hundred million dollars. Guess what? How much Disney purchased Fox? Seventy billion dollars. Like, like Alvin and Jimbox is like seventy five percent, ah, uh, like seventy five percent less than uh, Fox. And of course, three hundred million dollars for Disney for buying Alvin and Jimbox. I like, guys. I really wanted Disney to buy Avenue the Chipmunks. One, I bid the Disney World what's what's, and of course, I love Disney World so much. I love it so much. I go, I got it with my family. I I got it with my family. We went there. We went to on some rides. I really loved the rides. That's a lot. That was a lot of time. That was a, like a few years ago, and yeah. I love Disney World so much, and do you know what would be perfect for Disney World out of around Christmas time? The out uh, the chipmunks see that the Christmas don't be late. Having the three, I uh, would have an Alvin, Simon, and Fiona at Disney World see that the uh, Christmas don't be late at Disney World. I would love that so much. Because Alvin and Chipmunks is like a Christmas kind of uh, company. And yeah. And I would like talk about... And I'm just going to talk about Disney for just a few minutes. But yeah. Disney... I feel like Disney has the most possibility of all of them. I feel like Disney has the most possibility to buy Alvin and the Chipmunks. Because... You know me... Alvin and Chipmunk is all in fact the best of all of the companies. Now it's not the best company in the world, but yeah, but of course Alvin and Chipmunk 
Because this the only way have this the only way halves are bid in chipmunks. They only do. They have the they do have IP. They the IP of every the chipmunks they have is the live action. They have the live action IP for every the chipmunks, but they cannot make but Disney doesn't have the whole rights of the characters. The Disney doesn't have the rights of the characters. So Disney can't make an average of Chipmunks 5, or 6, or 7, or 8, whatever. Disney only has the IP to premiere the average of Chipmunks movies at Disney+. Plus. That's what Disney can only do. That's what Disney can only do. Yeah, that's what Disney can only do with the franchise. But yeah, but again, think about it for just a moment, moment okay? There's a few people in my way what's Disney to buy. Now, now a lot of people say that people say that Disney is not a great idea because Disney would just ruin the chipmunks. Fox asked, Fox, what, what is okay? Fox ruined uh, the average of chipmunks. Universal did, but Paranormal Plus. In fact, CBS actually did not ruin the album of the chipmunks. They just made a CGI show, and of course, people started to like it. People liked the CGI show. So, what am I, what am I actually saying? What am I saying? I'm saying that Disney could, in fact, buy the album of the chipmunks rights for $300 million dollars, premiere all of the chipmunks, movies, TV shows, specials, and Disney Plus. I would love that so much because me and my family can only afford Disney Plus. We can't afford stuff like HBO Max or Paranormal Plus. So, yeah, if Disney could do this, then I feel like Disney could, in fact, do a great job. Now, again, a lot of people say that, of course, Disney should have bought it because Disney always have, always have Chips and Dale. Chip and Dale. If you do know what Chip and Dale is, you probably do know what Chip and Dale is. Chip and Dale, Chip and Dale is actually like the, uh, that's like the Chipmunks version of Avenue Chipmunks. Also, there's like a type, there's like a Easter egg in Disney that actually kind of got to do with the chipmunks. You know the three ducklings from uh, DuckTales, the three of them, one of them did have red, one of them was of course red, the, like Huey, Dewey, and Louie, they red, the word red, green, and blue. So, does Disney actually have the designs of the chipmunks, and of course, DuckTales is also another movie, a series that is like the chipmunks. So, yeah, I feel like that, but I can't really say it because, yeah, but Disney buy out of the chipmunks, it's not a bad idea. This is not a bad idea. Guys, look at, look at what Disney did. Back in 2012, Disney purchased Lucasfilm, so they owned Star Wars in Indiana Jones. When Star Wars Episode 7, 8, and 9 came out in the last five years, you did, like, in six, like, the last five, the last six years, you do know that, uh, a lot of people said, no, that Disney just ruined the sequel trilogy, and people said that, of oh, course, the First Awakens is, of course, the best one, the, the eighth one, and the ninth one. Now, uh, now Disney really ruined it, but when the Mandalorian came out, when the Mandalorian, uh, the Mandalorian, Star Wars, the new Star Wars Disney Plus show that came out in 2019, uh, the Mandalorian, when the, the Mandalorian came out, people said that Disney did a awesome job of uh, telling a different story. So Disney ruined Star Wars in the beginning when Episode 7 came out. 
Now we have Disney Plus all way out. Disney fans are getting better and better with loving Disney, loving Star Wars even more. Because now we have, of course, Obi-Wan Kenobi coming up next year or whatever. I'm just saying, Disney will start up bad with Avatar the Chipmunks. Yeah, Disney will start up bad for Avatar the Chipmunks, but... But, think about it for just a moment, okay? Disney's gonna start up bad with Avatar the Chipmunks, but Disney will get better and better on and on. So, I feel like Disney is the best option, the best, the best option idea who could buy the Avatar the Chipmunks rights, because Disney also have the rights of the live action movies. Also, CBS already did have Avatar the Chipmunks. So, so what I was saying before, Disney is by far one of the best companies. Like, Disney is in fact one of the best companies' ideas who get all of the Chipmunks. So, yeah. So that's kind of going to be it for this video because I don't really have anything else to talk about. When there was an announcement, when... When I, when I hear an announcement of when somebody purchased Alvin the Chipmunks, I would let you guys know, but recap, CBS only does have uh, Alvin the Chipmunks, so they need to choose a different character who show uh, all that. CBS should own a different character. Two, Universal did have Alvin the Chipmunks, but Universal did a bad job uh, with them. Now, Universal could get a, another chance, but yeah, uh, after Universal is, of course, Warner Brothers, I feel like Warner Media and HBO Max could do something great, because, yeah, I feel like HBO Max is a good idea, Sony, I don't feel like Sony is a good idea, yeah, uh, I like the idea of Apple. Apple is a good idea. I really like the idea of Apple by it. Amazon, I really like the idea of, like, the idea of Amazon is a good idea. Netflix by far is one of the best ideas they are ever made. Because Netflix is very popular. And if I'm the Chipmunks, all the shows and all the specials is on Disney Plus, then you can watch it all after you purchase Netflix. And then afterwards, you can watch them for free. After watch by Netflix. So yeah. Now, yeah, that's like the first and yeah, Netflix, but I feel like Disney, in my opinion, is the best choice than the other them because Disney can ruin, like the, okay? Disney will begin, and also Disney has the rights of Tony of Century with Fox. So, Tony of Century Studios will make a fifth of the Chipmunks, a sixth film, maybe a seventh, an eighth, a ninth, or a tenth. Have as many live action movies as they want. And in our the Chipmunks, Kuroks will get animation movies, animation specials, and animation shows made by Disney. But yeah, but guys, comment down below in this video, guys. What company do you really want this? What company do you want of... Guys, what did I say? <coughs> Just a sec. Comment down below, guys. Tell me, guys. What company do you want to buy of the Chipmunks? What company do you want to see them buy of the Chipmunks? Buy is Disney. So... Yeah, everybody else is saying maybe Universal, HBO Max, Hasbro's. I forgot about Hasbro. No, well, I thought Hasbro's a good idea. And Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Disney. Whatever you guys really want to, me and my brothers, me and my family is saying Disney. Now, Disney should stop it by companies. But... Disney by Avid the Chipmunks is just a character. Avid the Chipmunks is just a company. Guys, Avid the Chipmunks is just a company. It's just a small company that has been out for 70 years. 
So, yeah. Do I think Disney could buy it? Yes, I feel like it. It's a possibility, and I'm really hoping that Disney buys it. So, yeah. But for these, but yeah, guys, that's just going to be it for this video. That's going to be just it for this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you guys go down below. Hit that like button down below. Hit that like button if you are a big Alvin in the Chipmunks fan, just like me. Alvin the Chipmunks is by far my favorite company ever made. So, yeah. But of course, whatever, you know, this up, so, yeah. What was I say? Oh, guys, what I was trying to say is, of course, hit that like button down below if you do enjoy this video. Also, guys, hit that subscribe button down below. Guys, hit that, okay, guys, hit that subscribe button down. I'm trying to get this, we are trying to get this channel up, excuse me. I'm trying to get this channel to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So please, guys, hit that subscribe button down below. Also, guys, comment down below. Tell me some more ideas you want me to do on my channel. I'm really out of ideas. So if you have any ideas of videos you want me to, to make, then hit that, then comment down below. So yeah. Also, guys, sick of it, guys, down below in the comments, tell me your thoughts about, like, also, guys, comment down below. Tell me your thoughts about this. And what company do you really want this? What company do you want Bodyguards Productions to sell the company? What company do you feel like should buy out of the check box? Mine is Disney and also Netflix. My top three is Disney, Netflix, and Universal because Universal also has Illumination and DreamWorks. So, yeah. And guys, if you like the Alvin and Chipmunks live action movies, if you do like them, if you do like them, and you would love to see, and, and if you like, if you want to see more, then choose Disney side. Now, I would do a vote that, like, I would probably do a vote. Let's say who I will have a poll that's gonna come it up. I will check it out. I will make a poll for you guys today. But yeah, and also I want to tell you guys happy Black Friday, guys. Again, guys, it's a little bit too late for Happy Black Friday. Hope you guys did got your uh, things related to Black Friday. Hope you did your shopping. Uh, hope you did some of your Christmas shopping uh, or whatever and all that stuff because Christmas is only twenty nine days away. So yeah. Okay, guys, leave it down below in the comments. What company do you want out of the Jetmarks to be purchased by? And yeah, guys, and I will see you, and yeah, guys, I will see you guys inside the next one. See you guys next, and yeah, and I will see you. So, guys, don't forget, guys, to go down below. Hit that subscribe button down below to join the Ninja Nation Army, and we will see you guys inside the next one. See you guys next time. Bye, Ninja out. Peace. And one more thing, guys, that is hit the like button down below, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. And follow me, guys. Also, guys, go check out more of my other videos. That, go check out more of my other videos onto the channel. I got a lot of videos to talk about, so stay tuned, guys, because there will be a lot of Christmas reviews coming up next week. So, Stay tuned, guys. So, yeah. Also, guys, comment down below. Tell me some more ideas you want me to do on my channel. And finally, guys, when I said before, comment down below. Tell me, guys, who do you think should buy out of the chat box and all this stuff. So, yeah. And I will see. And I will see you guys next time. Again, guys, go check out more of my other videos. And I will see my Alvin and the chat box fans next time. Peace.